From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories is not going away. 75 more confirmed coronavirus cases reported for Wednesday by health officials, 61 of them in the capital, two each in Grand Bahama, Bimini, and the Berry Islands, 51 persons in hospital with the virus as of Wednesday, four in the ICU. The recent numbers prompting some changes to restrictions in the capital, Albuquerque, Lutheran, and Exuma, these businesses are not allowed to operate now. Indoor cinemas, a bar, nightclub, or cultural entertainment facility also prohibited regardless festivals, plays, spas, craft or straw markets, and jet ski operations. Permitted outdoor cinemas and cookouts with restrictions. Government officials are hoping these changes, along with increased curfew hours in Andros, the Barry Islands, and Cat Island, will help slow the recent surge. Health officials remain concerned about the slowdown in the vaccination effort. They're again urging persons to get vaccinated using the online registration process or at one of the walk-up sites. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police say they're making progress in their investigations into that government high school stabbing incident, which left a 15-year-old student dead and another one injured. They're now questioning two boys in connection with the incident. Double murder charges filed against 27-year-old Dominique Roll in court yesterday. That in connection with a recent drive-by shooting incident in the Grove area here in the capital. It left two men dead and two others injured. Roll also facing attempted murder and weapons-related charges. The coroner's court inquest into Hurricane Dorian missing persons concluded yesterday. Death certificates will be issued to families of five persons reported as missing. A small plane forced to crash land at the airport in San Andros yesterday. The pilot and a passenger on board, no one hurt in the incident. Grand Bahama police have two men in custody in connection with the recent discovery of a marijuana farm on that island with an estimated 7,000 plants on it. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Partly sunny, highs in the low to mid 80s. 82 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. The rain advisories will be dropped in time. Winds settling at 10 to 15 knots. The seas decreasing to 2 to 4 feet. The next high is a low around 10 this morning. Next high about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines. Diplomacy has worked. There's now a ceasefire in place in the Middle East, ending the conflict between Israel and Palestine for now. Close to 300 persons died in that. U.S. President Biden hosting South Korea's president at the White House in Washington, D.C. today. They're going to discuss, among other things, North Korea. Things continue to return to normal in Great Britain out of the COVID-19 restrictions. They have now opened theaters. Britain has one of the best vaccination programs around the world. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 491, SO 494, Rubens $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Joanna Evans, the swimmer, will be going to the Olympic Games if they come off. She's qualified. Read the story in the Tribune Sports. There's an update on track star Stephen Gardner and Tania Gaithier. The latest on Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins win in Philly last night. He had the night off. An update on DeAndre Ayton as he and the Suns prepare for the NBA playoffs. Ayton missed the last three games of the regular season with a sore knee. 
but he's ready to play now. And find out who's leading the PGA Championship, the major golf tournament that's going on in South Carolina in the U.S. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com. 